What's up, you guys? It's your boy Miguel giving you the daily dose of radiation. And today, heading off to work, doing a little quick video. And as always, today's subject is how basically I've noticed how the emergency room has become. A PCP for some people, from what I've noticed, and those who do not know, is primary care providers. That is something I've noticed from time and time again, being this deep in the game, how I've noticed people come to the emergency room for basically any little thing. And I know there's people who say, well, better to be safe than to you know have some act and it to be something else but like some people will come and it will be not not emergency maybe maybe let's say out of a hundred percent maybe only 20 25 percent of the people who come to the emergency room are actual emergencies the rest of the people they could have waited till the morning and seen their primary care provider and they would have been fine. It happens so much and I know you're like Miguel, every patient's different maybe with something. It happens so much that sometimes even the doctors will start getting irritated because sometimes it's the same people that come over and over again and you already kind of know them. Like, because we had to give basic report get basic information for those who are kind of new to the field and will end up happening you'll ask them you'll be like okay so how long has let's say your ankle been hurting and they'll be like oh it's been hurting for like three months and you're like okay and then the follow-up question like has it been hurting more today than you know at night then i'm like no i just thought you know might as well get it checked out and i'm like at three in the morning two in the morning you couldn't have come another day, another time, like, just today. It doesn't hurt anymore. It's just been the same. You're just like, eh. And then I'm like, even, like, I'll see the doctor's face. Like, they'll get frustrated because they'll be like, I'm an emergency. Like, this is a trauma center. Like, this is, you know, for serious stuff. For, like, you know, you're really hurt. Everything's closed. And I guess when it's slow, it really doesn't, you know, bother doctors or you know the nurses as much okay but when it's super busy like it's a packed house and people like that come and kind of take up not sounds mean but time or resources from the place when there's other people who are truly in need and it kind of delays their treatment and I know that sounds mean but like it kind of rubs you the time like like it makes you feel bad like it's irritating because instead of it just being only for emergencies people just come kind of just to come and like it's not treated and i've noticed that's happened more and more because i remember as being when i was way younger like emergency room like it's only like for real life or death or like something real emergency and now people have kind of it's kind of has lost the name of an emergency so that has a little rant I'm going on I'm sorry for those who do not care much about it but it's something as you'd be doing x-rays you'll notice how sometimes a trauma is not a real trauma or an emergency room isn't as emergency Second guy, guy, got some issues with the lighting here. Trying to tweak around. Down here. So, yeah. So, that's something you can expect to see. And I know that it's worse during the daytime. Because I've had to work day shift. Maybe it's better. 
had a work day shift sometimes and they complain about it too that it takes up a lot of people and then during, during the day it is way more busier than at night so and, but I mean they do have more people but still it is very very irritating I would say but anyways that's a little little rant little, little info for those who are curious of what happens and yeah it's been your boy Miguel see you on the next one